What do you think happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? I know that the ones who love us will miss us. The saddest and at the same time the kindest actor in Hollywood. The inimitable devil's advocate and funny Ted. The breathtaking Keanu Reeves is the hero of today's video on our channel. If we could make a movie about Keanu's life, it would probably win a few Oscars. Of course, there is only one man who could portray the role perfectly. Reeves doesn't often talk about the string of events that made him who he is. Only he knows every twist and turn in the motion picture of his life, and he has an admirable grace and restraint when it comes to sharing his story. The incredible misfortunes that befell him were just one part of the picture. For a long time, he was his only audience, and then something changed. Keanu Reeves' career took a winding path to success, and it was only later that the world took notice of him and acknowledged him for what he is, a fighter, humanitarian, and above all, a humble man. Who is Keanu Reeves? Keanu Reeves was born in Beirut, Lebanon on September 2, 1964. He is of English-Hawaiian descent. Long before becoming a heartthrob and an action movie hero, the actor didn't sleep in a bed of roses. His father, Samuel Reeves, spent half of his life behind bars for dealing heroin, only to abandon his family when Keanu was just three years old. Keanu's mom, Patricia, was left to take care of the boy and his sister Kim all by herself. Although she was a costume designer, reportedly she was working as a stripper at the time, and she was the only breadwinner in the family. First, the family of three moved from Lebanon to Sydney and then to New York. Eventually, they settled down in Toronto. Throughout this time, Keanu's mother remarried three times, which meant that the actor-to-be had three stepfathers over a short period of time. As a teenager, the future star struggled with dyslexia and a tendency to disobey authority, which caused him to eventually drop out of school. In his interview with Today, Keanu told the reporter that he did not have a traditional path because he changed four high schools, so this whole period was rather bumpy for him. Keanu never finished high school. This is a huge disadvantage for anyone to overcome. Keanu went above and beyond his own expectations, but the biggest trials of his character were yet to come. A rocky road to stardom. Keanu always wanted to become an actor. Although he wasn't a great student at school, he always nurtured a keen interest in acting. Hockey also had a special place in his heart, and he was outstanding as a goalie, but his sports career came to a screeching halt after he injured his knee. The injury still plays tricks on him up to this day, and his fans could clearly see that on the set of John Wick. Perhaps it was written in the stars that Keanu would instead become an A-list actor who would take Hollywood by storm. He got involved in acting when he was just nine years old. He played several roles in the theater and was even cast for the role of Mercutio in Shakespeare's classic Romeo and Juliet when he was just 15. In the late 80s, Keanu made appearances in several commercials, including one for Coca-Cola. He made his first movie appearance in One Step Away, but he couldn't quite find his place until he moved to Los Angeles. A man in his early 20s with no savings and big plans, Keanu was determined to win over the City of Angels. Paul Aaron, Keanu's former stepfather, helped him during this time by finding a suitable manager for the actor. The roles soon started piling up. The baby-faced actor became recognizable for playing teenagers. He got stuck in the role of the rambunctious or clumsy boy driven by booming hormones. However, he was an artist who knew what he wanted. He took most opportunities life threw at him, but he kept his eyes on his goal. During the 1990s, he slowly began to step outside his teenage roles. He left a huge impression with Point Break, 1991 along with his co-star Patrick Swayze. In 1992, he received the MTV Movie Award for the Most Desirable Male, a reality stranger than fiction. Bit by bit, the actor became one of the most sought after and praised men in Hollywood. Women around the world went into a craze for his good looks and charm. However, little was known about his love life since the beginning of his career. 
He has never been a typical celebrity, and he gave paparazzi a really hard time. According to him, he kept the consumption of intoxicants to a minimum and did not allow himself to be swallowed up by the cruel vortex of celebrity vices. He did admit to having used certain substances way back, but his then best friend and colleague River Phoenix passed away due to an overdose, and this led Keanu to irrefutably stand against drug abuse. 1994 marked a turning point in his career when he got the lead role in Speed, alongside Sandra Bullock. The action-packed masterpiece soon became a worldwide hit. Hollywood media has repeatedly claimed that his relationship with Bullock went beyond friendly terms. Towards the end of 2011, rumors about their relationship were more intense than ever, but despite the obvious chemistry between them, the duo never went beyond their on-screen romance. Interestingly, Keanu refused to play the sequel to the movie Speed and decided to return to the boards. He re-entered the world of theater by playing Hamlet and received excellent reviews. Critics said he interpreted the role so well because he was actually Hamlet, a graceful prince who unites innocence and angst in his character. Story is continued and will be complete in next video. Keep watching and also subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.